Hey, Michelle, how's everything? Hey, Lindsay. Good, good, good. I am in the mood to take a road trip. A road trip. I love road trips. They are the best, especially the snacks, the snacks. (laughs) Oh yeah. Like what's your favorite road trip snack? (laughs) Well, you know, it depends on who I'm road tripping with, but sometimes like candies or a little, yeah, like chocolates or lollipops Mm -hmm. or something. But when I did my big road trip around the country, I Mm -hmm. couldn't do that. It was just iced coffee, just black iced coffee. That's all I did. I didn't do snacks because otherwise you take a two month road trip and you eat snacks every day. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> right, right, right. But it is fun to get the snacks like and I don't know, there's something like, oh, it doesn't count if it's if you're count. yeah, if you're on yeah. the road. <laughs> right, right. If you're at home, it does. If you're on the road, it doesn't count as much. Right. Yeah. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't eat like a necessarily like an entire bag of like Chex Mix, like yes. when you're, you know, just like sitting, or maybe you would, I don't know. And whatever you want to do, that's fine. Like, <laughs> but like on, on the road, it's uh it's something like, oh, well, we're just eating it. Yeah, for sure. Where are you thinking about taking a road trip to? Oh, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll need some advice from you. Maybe you okay. can give me a list and give me, All right. give me some ideas. I could do that. Um, but yeah, Lindsay, you've taken a ton of road trips, including a very special one that actually our listeners can go on with you. With me. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys. I know it's called the Connected Communicator online course. I rented a car drove 12,000 miles, a big loop around the country, went to Chicago, California, New York city, Texas, the deep South, all over the place, cowboy country out here in the West. Mm -hmm. And I take you through these interviews that I did with native speakers. So to get into that course, Michelle, where can we go? Go to all ears, English.com slash connection. All right. Definitely the most unique English course on the internet. No question. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, all right. So talking about things that we can do in the car, I mean, what, what does that come to Michelle? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think of like when I was a kid, like Lindsay, you mentioned, you you told me that you used to go to Delaware, like with your dad on road trip. Uh, Uh Were you happy to be in the car for a while or were you like an, are we there yet kid? And what do I mean by that? I think on long trips, when my brother and I were in the back of the station wagon, you know, typical nineties style, I definitely hated that because my brother was always, you know, obnoxious. And just when, when are we going to be there was the refrain, right? Constantly asking my parents, my poor parents. Um, Mm -hmm. But when it was just me and my dad and I got to sit in the front, that kind of thing, I think I enjoyed more. Mm -hmm. So what about Mm -hmm. you? Were you kind of angsty as a kid in the car? Uh, I'd have to ask my parents. I can't really remember, but yeah, probably. Uh, but, but, you know, it'd be fun. And I, there are things that you can do in the car as kids, like typical, typical games you can play. Like, I guess you might, would call it a car game or a road trip game or something car like game. that, yeah. that are, that are like pretty like common or famous with kids and adults. Right, Lindsay? Oh, for sure. For sure. My first road trip I took in in college, it was right after 9-11, actually, that my friends and I decided we need to to do something deep. And so we took a cross country road trip and we camped. We played a lot of those games, like those car games and not card games, car games. Right, right, right. That's important. So being careful there, right? Yeah. Do you get car sick, Lindsay? I really don't. I'm lucky. Um, so I can be in the back all the time, but some people who get car sick need to sit in the front. Right. Yeah. Well, can you read? Um, I don't usually try to read in the car that much just because it's too chaotic. Um, but I can, I can talk, I can look out the window, I can listen to podcasts or music or something. So yeah, Mm -hmm. that's, it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. So today we're going to share some of these games. um, And this is good because this is a great way to connect with people. Mm -hmm. um, If you are on a road trip and these are great games to play. I mean, some, uh, one of them, it really has to be in the car. (laughs) Yeah. One of them really has to be in the car for sure. And I want to say, you know, if you, you know, it's interesting because American culture is really a car culture, right? Thanks Mm -hmm. to Henry Ford and the building of the freeways. Like we really are such a car culture. And if you come from a place, that's not a car culture. Like to me, Japan is not a car culture. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Michelle, when you were there trains? Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, it was a lot of trains. I mean, I'm not sure like other parts of Japan that I didn't visit, but yeah, certainly 
Yeah, because I was in like, you know, big cities. So True. if you're in New York, I would also say not True. a great culture. Fair but, point. Um, fair point. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fair point. Although in Japan, I remember taking the train, the local train out to the countryside, like oh, way yeah. from Tokyo all the way to the other side of the country. You could take the oh, train. Wow. So oh, that wow. is not the case here. We have Amtrak, but it's not very good. And the bathrooms are not clean. <laughs> oh, well, yes, certainly. If we're talking about the quality of the trains and especially the bathrooms, <laughs> it's like, I'm so scared to like, you know, go on the train because I specifically don't want to use the bathroom. Oh, they're awful. I avoid them mm-hmm. at all costs. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, if you do <laughs> relocate to the U.S., or maybe Canada, probably Canada too, you know, a way to build a relationship is to invite someone on a road trip, a little weekend yeah. road trip that you, someone you want to get to know better. And that is a part of the culture. So knowing what right. to do in the car is a key thing, right? Exactly. All right. So let's talk about, let's get into the games. Lindsay. Get into so. the games. Okay. Get your head in the game, Michelle. Get <laughs> That's <head> right. Game. <laughs> what's the first, what's the first game? Okay, this is the one we said we really need to be in the yeah, car to, to do. Be in the car. <laughs> so the license plate game. Um, in this game, you look out and you try to spot a license plate from as many different states as you can. And what do you do, Michelle? Do you tally the number you've seen? Uh, then- well, I don't. I think it's really up to you if you want to. Like, it, it, I feel like I feel like how I played it was just like you would shout it out when you saw it. Yeah. I don't know if we were that serious about it, but I could imagine right. it getting competitive if somebody's like writing it down or telling it. Did you play this? Yeah, yeah. We played this on the first road trip I was on, road trip one. Um, <laughs> and I have them all ordered, you know, <laughs> nice. trip experiences. Yeah, 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 we did. We had fun with it. So we were in college, just having fun, just trying to entertain ourselves. Yeah, kids, college kids, middle school kids. It makes sense. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah, you just, guys, I mean, because there are 50 different <laughs> kinds of license plates. And right. if you're on a road trip, yeah, you might see a lot of the license plates of the place that you're, the state that you're in. Yes. But then you also see different ones. Like, do you ever, um, well, so you're from New Hampshire. Do you ever, when, you are like in, I don't know if this, if this happens, but if like now you're in Denver, do you ever see a New Hampshire license plate and you're like, Oh, Oh, not so much. in probably not that much. I don't know that I've seen one in Denver because it's so, uh, so far, right. It's thousands, right. Exactly. Thousands, That's pretty far. miles. Um, but certainly in new England, you see them. And I've always right. taken a lot of pride in my license plate because our yeah. state motto, you know mm-hmm. what it is? We've talked about it. I think before I uh, have New Hampshire me. state motto is live free or die, which is, oh, so- yes. <laughs> It's so, it's so serious compared to like, it's a very intense Florida, the sunshine state, yeah, in Co- right. Colorado, the golden state, New yeah, Hampshire, yeah, yeah. Live free or die. <laughs> it's like a big threat. Um, <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I, I always get excited when, well, for me, it's, you know, a lot more common because New York and Maryland. Yes. Yeah. Like whenever I see the Maryland license plate, I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah, you feel how what is your state's motto? I, I was so scared that you were gonna ask me that. You knew I was gonna ask you that. I, yeah, I like re- I was like, Did oh maybe I'll just like move on. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't look it up. Wait, I, I I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. That gives me a great episode idea, Michelle. Another day we could do an episode on how to quickly change the topic because you feel a question is coming that you can't answer. <laughs> oh uh let's see, what is the Maryland? Oh my gosh. And then license plate. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. I'm going to have to look, I'm going to have to look. have a little bit of homework. They can look it up and maybe <laughs> yeah. for the next time we'll talk. Wow. About it. Okay. <laughs> that was very embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, um, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> if you ask right. me a lot of trivia about my state, I wouldn't be able to answer it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the next question? What's the next game? So 20 questions. Now, how does 20 questions go? This is a very common one. Again, I think everybody has their own variations on okay. these things, but I basically okay. somebody thinks of something mm-hmm. yeah. and you have 20 questions to guess what it is. And I think it's mostly like yes or no questions, right? Okay. So like, so mm-hmm. it might be something you see or something you think of, or maybe you can do a category like, you know, maybe you're doing like celebrities or movies or, you know, something like that. Okay. Um, I think a lot, there are a lot of variations, but that's the main idea is like you have 20, 20 questions and then, you know, to guess. And that's a good one. So obviously, you know, games that are not popular in cars are things like charades because you can't see the person. Yeah. You can't stand up and act out something. That's more of a living room game, right? A living room mm-hmm. dinner party game. Right. So 20 right. questions is, to- is totally verbal, right? Right, right, right. Exactly. So that's really good for the car. Okay. Um, so wait, let's hear it, Lindsay. Um, okay. Let's play. Let's play a short 
version. Um, okay. okay. Um, you want me to think of something? Yeah. You think of something. Just anything. So, yeah. okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm never going to get something. it in three questions. I've got something. Good luck. I- <laughs> Thanks. Uh, is it a person? No. Is it a thing? Uh, mm, I don't know how to answer that. It's an animal. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Uh, is it a dog? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he's right behind me. If you guys are seeing this on video, <laughs> but you can't see him. He's all nestled into the couch. So funny. Oh my God. It's my dog Kiefer, Michelle. Yeah, it's Kiefer. It's <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Um, I love it. Um, mm-hmm. and then there's I spy, which is kind of similar, you know, like, uh, I spy with my little eye something. Yeah. yeah. And then you uh-huh. like, for it, right. Yeah. It seems like this one would be a fun one to play with little kids, right? Like I spy with my little eye. Like it seems like something kids would have fun with younger kids in my mind. Right, 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 right. right. Exactly. So Lindsay, what do you do if you're in the car and you want to suggest playing these games? How do you, how do you say it? Because like maybe everybody's just sitting there or maybe the music is blaring and you're kind of just like, it's, yeah. You know, you don't feel like listening anymore. You want to, mm. you want to do a game. Yeah. Okay. So this is a great way and very common guys write this one down. Want to play, you know, 20 questions want to play. Mm-hmm. I spy, right. Want to mm-hmm. play. So again, we're not saying, do you want to play? We're saying want to play. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. so real. It's such real English, Michelle. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Now this one is good. It kind of, uh, you know, lets them know that, you know, it's, you know, a kid's game, right? Yep. So you could say, I know it's a kid's game, but maybe we should play. Yeah. And that's right? good to admit something that, you know, everyone else is going to be thinking. So you just right. say it at the beginning, right? Right. Right. Just that I, I know, I know it's silly and I know, you know, yeah. we're adults, but why not? You know, why not? Why not? Exactly. Or if you just want to be more straightforward, you say, let's play 20 questions, right? Let's. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. let's do this. Let's play 20 questions. Okay. Right, right, right. Exactly. So, um, yeah, Lindsay, these are, these are good ways to suggest playing the game. Um, and I think, you know, they're, they're really good games to play when you're bored in the car. They're really great for road trips. Yeah, I agree. I agree. This is fun. Um, so guys, again, it comes back to, you know, where are you likely to build relationships in American culture? Maybe, maybe in Canada. I don't, like I said, I don't totally know. Road trips are so common. Even if it's just a three hour road trip to another town that someone invites you for a day trip, take Mm -hmm. advantage, say yes, go with them, explore the countryside. It is so cool. Exactly. Exactly. And play these games Mm -hmm. along the way. Lindsay, this was fun. Brought me back to my childhood. So, oh, okay. Well, glad we could do that for you, Michelle. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love it. So guys to, to learn more about the course that we mentioned, right. Connected communicator online course, go to all earsenglish.com slash connection. All right. Awesome. All All right. This was fun. Lindsay, have a safe drive wherever you go next. Okay, you too, Michelle. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.